thank you for tuning in. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Matt. I'm the Bear Runner, the Bear Seeker. Today we are going to review a running pro uh, product, right? So this is a product that I got um, off of a giveaway. All right, they reached out to me, said, "Hey, you won. Pick something, try it out. Thank you." Right? They didn't ask me to do this review. I'm doing it completely uh, uh, solo and an unsolicited. Um, but I will tell you uh, how I feel about this product once I'm done. All right, so this is a, um, it is a foot insole. The company calls it a foot bed. Um, the company actually makes different products. Um, they make insoles, they also make shoes. The good thing is um, for those who are very um, environmental, uh, environmentally conscious, um, their products are uh, sustainable. They are made from 20% industrial recycled products. Um, I think they even have some products that are, are made out of cork um, that even even makes it just a little bit more um, um, user friendly, right? Um, something that most people would kind of kind of venture off to. So, <clears throat> company yoursoul yoursoul.com. I am going to go ahead and post. Uh, a link in the description. Go ahead and check them out. Um, before we go any further, go ahead and like, subscribe. Um, so when you see more of my videos, um, you'll be the first ones uh, to get alerted on those. Now, so what I have, this is it right here. So the company has three different types of, of insoles, footbeds, right? They have a thin, uh, thin is for the, the casual walkers. Um, just everyday kind of kind of wear and tear or if they are walking into activities. They have a medium fitness, which is what I have. This is for the runners, um, those who do uh, exercises, things like that. Um, they also have a thick fit. Thick fit is for a uh, forest hiker, for those that, that hike. Um, something a little bit thicker and, and a little bit more uh, durability, okay? Now, uh, there are, what I found really interesting, I've, I've never had foot insoles before um, and I'm really, I've been contemplating on which shoe I'm going to use these for. Uh, you know, uh, like most runners, we have multiple shoes um, that we run in. Um, the shoes that I run in, I'm going to show these. These, these are actually my uh, my quick only. Oh, these are the ones I do most of my running um, in. Um, these are actually pretty neat, right? Um, I like the color pattern. The only thing I don't like them is I have had uh, these are the Clippings. I have had Hoka's. Um, in the past and they've been real cushiony, right? Um, I don't get that same cushiony feel from these. Um, so I'm gonna use these, I'm gonna use these insoles, I'm gonna replace these. The other two shoes that I, that I do my other workouts in, um, plenty of cushion, plenty of bounce back, plenty, plenty of, of, of energy return um, during my run. So this makes it just, just a little bit more easy and they're light too. And, and these these are, are not as light as my other ones. Um, they feel like they're a little bit longer. Um, and I, I do wear a size 12 and it just feels like they're just long you know I mean they fit perfectly but they just feel like they're just long and I think it's just a little in right here that kind of just throws me off right okay so this is how you use a product okay and this is all off of the website <clears throat> there's two ways okay you can either put it into your shoe all right and just let and let and let the, uh, the 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 sole kind of form to your foot and, and, and get used to your foot and, and, and kind of do it that way and it says it takes about three days to do that okay or you can customize it um, and by doing that, you're gonna put it in the oven, right? Set the oven to 200 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? Stick it in there. Don't stick it on, on the grate, just stick it on, um, on on a pan or something for two minutes, okay? There is a, a little, little indicator right here. When it turns black, it is ready, okay? If it's not ready after, if it, it turns black, it's ready. If it's not black after two minutes, then wait another minute, okay? After three minutes, after a total of three minutes, if it is not done, that's okay. Take it out. You, you know, you should be ready to go. Okay. Now, <clears throat> these, uh, these these insoles in my Hoka's, uh, Hoka's um, they don't come out. I feel like they're I think they're kind of glued in. Um, you guys can kind of kind of see that. It's interesting. You got the little little netting in there, right? Um, but that's okay. It says if you can't take them out, just slide them right on top. Okay. When you put them uh, put the insoles into your shoes. Make sure it doesn't bunch up. Okay, make sure it just it's nice and in there and it goes and it fits exactly how it goes. All right. Once you put it in the shoe, step in the shoes, lace up how you normally would lace up. Okay, no tighter, no looser than normal, just normal. And you're gonna stand for two minutes. All right, you're gonna stand for two minutes. Normal, you know, just normal stand, shoulder width apart, knees over your um, 
uh, over your feet and just do that, all right? And let your foot uh, kind of get used to that and, and mold that insole, all right? So, we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. See how it works. Okay guys, all right, so I went in and tried it, fit them into my shoe. Um, my shoe's actually 11 and a half, I normally wear 12, um, but these uh, these hawkers feel a, a little big. Um, the insoles I have are actually size 12, but they didn't, uh, didn't I had a little bit problem with, with the left shoe, not so much with the right shoe, um, but I, I stuck it right in there, I didn't have to take the, uh, the insoles out with my hawkers. So I got them in there, did my two minutes, um, it, it's it's an interesting feel. I feel a little bit um, high because you know adds just a little bit, a um, little bit of, of, of height um, to me. But I'm not sure if I'm supposed to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and go for a ride and just see how I'm feeling so far. You know, it's only been a few minutes um, since I've taken it out the oven. But you know, why not? They got a run streak going on. Let me get my mile in. Kill two birds with one stone. Let's go. Guys, don't know I'm in the process of moving. <clears throat> Not that far from where I was before, but we needed to move. And I ran here the other day using Strava, and I looked at my Strava, and I noticed a cemetery. It's like, 
it can be because I drove down the street a couple of times and didn't see anything, didn't really pay attention, but figured out I was known the cemetery. Oh yeah. It's a cemetery. So try to find a little a little Google search on that. Couldn't find too much of anything, but that's alright. So I don't really believe in haunting the spirits and things like that. Never encountered it. So but maybe I'm gonna do some more digging and maybe we do an episode on running in cemetery. No, I won't run through cemetery. What about running in some of the weirdest things we find on some of our run? Alright, let's go. Alright, so it was a nice little run. Um, I felt comfortable, uh, at least during the run. I mean, it, it, it took a little bit to get used to. Uh, I'm not used to running to uh, running in insoles and foot beds. Um, but it's alright, and, and, and from the start of the run to when I got back, I could feel, I could feel a difference with the foot bed. I can feel that my, my feet are conforming and, and kind of getting in the foot pattern. Um, is one thing that I did notice. Now with these hokas, I cannot run anything more than about four or five miles before my foot starts to cramp and it feels like the, the shoe is just tightened up on my foot. Now in my right foot bed, not the one I had trouble um, inserting at first, but in the right foot bed, um, it, it still started to kind of kind of cramp up and tighten my foot up a little. And I don't know if that's just due to how I currently run, if there's an imbalance. Um, the, the object and the benefit of using these foot beds, at least according to the website, um, according to your, your soul, is that it's supposed to um, improve your balance. It helps with uh, plantar uh, fasciitis. Um, it, it works for all our um, heights. And it's, it's also zero. Um, so we'll, we'll see if, if I can reap those benefits. Um, I am a proponent of, especially when it comes to running, shooting anything on your feet. Start off slow, walk in your shoes, break them in, and then slowly kind of kind of get a little run in. I did not do that for whatever reason. I've been excited about trying these shoes or trying these insoles. So I didn't. Um, so I'm gonna give it a couple of days to see how how I, I, I feel about it, how I like them. Um, but as of now, I'm 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 good with them. Um, and if I don't after a few days, I mean hell, I have 90 days of uh, risk-free to return these. Um, back to the company and say, hey, this is no good for me. Um, we'll see what happens after, I'll give it three days, three to five days, see how it feels. I'm still on my run streak, I'm still going strong. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for joining me. I greatly appreciate the love and support. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, hit the notifications so you know when my video is coming out. Uh, so until next time, let's get it. Hey, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, um, I'm down here in Texas, and if you know, uh, Texas was hit with a pretty bad uh, snowstorm. Um, pretty much the entire state was affected. Um, there were some parts that weren't hit as hard as others. Um, luckily, we just had some rolling blackouts for a few days, um, but you know, I think uh, I think after Wednesday is when the lights came out. But thank you for everybody who called, text, email, whatever, um, for your love and support. If you know any family, friends, fronters in texas reach out to them say hey i'm thinking about you whatever the case may be offer whatever love and support that you can um no matter where you are texas normally does not get hit uh with weather like this it, it comes far and few in between um but for me and my family we're safe everything's been fine um but reach out to those friends families whoever you know just say hey hope all is well let me know if anything i can do if you can, donate meals, send five, ten bucks, whatever to kind of help some people get on the feet. Because um, cause Texas is going to need it. Um, and what we've learned with the pandemic uh, recently is that the state, the country comes together. Um, so for those who, who reached out and showed their love and support, me and my family greatly appreciate you guys. Um, to everybody else, stay safe, stay well. Get it.